Good afternoon and welcome to another haul. I know I've done quite a few Excuse me. I know I've done quite a few hauls recently. I did a home bargains one and a January sales slash a few bits of what I got for Christmas in it. So if you haven't seen those, I will leave them in a link below. But today I'm here in this ridiculous jumper to do a H&M home haul. I've got about eight things, so it's not gonna be the biggest haul on earth. But I got a few really, really nice things. So I wanna show you everything that I got. This is a little cheetah hook and I have one of these that is a stag and I thought it would be the cutest thing ever if I had the stag and the cheetah and maybe a third one when I find one next to each other on the wall like in a bit of that pattern <laughs> to hang my keys on near the door so I really liked that I think it was about eight pounds the only thing I will say is it's quite wonky like when I do a close-up shot now you will see how wonky it is so I don't really know how that's gonna work but hopefully it looks good it just looks like he's tilting his head the next thing that I got is something else that's gold I've got such a love for gold I went through a silver phase when I first moved out but I think gold warms a house up so much I honestly don't know how a lot of people these days have grey rooms everywhere like they have grey carpet or grey wooden floors grey walls grey sofa and absolutely no colour. Anyway, that's just personal preference, but I did get this picture frame. I thought it was really cute. I liked the cut out of it. It's kind of hard to find a photo the same size as it though. As you can see, this one sticks out, but I will just give it a quick little trim. I do think this is gorgeous. Another thing that I got, I love. I don't know where I'm gonna put this in this flat, but I will find a spot for it because I love it. What do you call these, rattan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but it's this circle mirror. I think this was quite affordable. It is a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but I actually think it's really cute. Like this in a hallway before you leave the door just to check your makeup and stuff would look really nice. I actually got another mirror and my mum hates this, but I think it's pretty sick. Let me know what you think in the comments, but I got this mirror. So this is obviously just a little mirror with fringe on the bottom. And I thought this was so cool. I love it in person. Hello. <laughs> it reminds me of of, are they called the flappers? You know the 20s girls who wore the flappery dresses? That's what it reminds me of. And I think it's really, really cute. So I like this a lot. Sorry, mum, but I'm keeping that one. Something that I got for my bathroom, which I'm very, very happy about is this. So if you didn't know before, I had more of a woven basket with pom-poms on for my toilet rolls and it did not match my bathroom at all. So I saw this on H&M Home and I was like, oh my God, that is perfect. I've got this black cart from Ikea and it matches it literally perfectly. And when I do have my own flat, I'm gonna redo the bathroom. And I do want a lot of like black and white in it. I think I'm just gonna use the towels as a pop of color. It's the perfect size for toilet rolls, but this would also be really nice for blankets in a living room. There was a big phase of having those woven like wooden baskets, but I'm really into the metal right now. I think this grid metal is really, really cool. Also to go in the bathroom, I got this, which kind of runs along the same theme. Oh my God, I've gone washed out. This is a bath mat, such a cute little pattern on it. I really wanted to bring the black in to my bathroom. Right now I've got a gray bath mat from Home Bargains and it's not the best quality. So I did want to get a different one and I really like how this is gonna bring the black in. So another thing that I got is this gorgeous light. This was about 40 pounds and I actually want another one of these to put on this bedside table because I do have this over on that bedside table and I would like them to match. I wanted something that would bring the frames of these into my room a bit because I don't have any black furniture. I've always avoided it. So I think that these kind of look a little bit odd. So I decided to pick this up. I'm definitely gonna get another because I think it's lovely. I've just got a bulb in from Ikea right now and it's so bright. I really, really love this. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And then the final thing that I got is gonna be kind of hard to show you. This was a big splurge. It was 99 pounds, which is a hell of a lot of money but I know what I like in homeware now and I know that I'm always pretty much gonna have a pink themed bedroom it's just very much my style I love how it looks I just think it's very soft and pretty and girly and I've had kind of a pink themed bedroom for the last few years and I still love it so I know it's gonna be something that I love going forward so I picked up this blanket it's like a mix between a blanket and a duvet and it is velvet 
and pink. It's so beautiful, it's so soft. I was kind of worried how this was gonna be because obviously it's so much money to spend and I didn't just want it to be a thin little blanket, but it's not. It's definitely got some weight to it and thickness. And I'm just gonna drape this across my bed. And then when I'm cold at night, which I'm cold every friggin' night, I can pull it over and have some extra warmth. I literally love this. It's got this gorgeous dotty stitching all over it. It's really, really well made, which you would expect for 99 pounds. But I know this is something that I'm gonna have for a very, very, very long time. So those are some things that I picked up from H&M Home. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!